In this video, I'll share my top 15 things to do in Indianapolis. At number one, we have the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. As the world's largest children's museum, this place is more than just a museum. It's a place where learning and play intersect. Founded in 1925 by Mrs. Lillian Frank Guggenheim, this museum houses over 120,000 artifacts spanning art, science, history, and culture. You'll also find a theater, classrooms, and a library here, offering 473,000 square feet of interactive exhibits that both adults and children will adore. Moving on to the second spot, we come across the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. Located on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway grounds, this museum showcases the riveting history of the Indianapolis 500. Designated a National Historic Landmark in 1987, it houses more than 500 artifacts, including race cars, trophies, and photos. There's also a theater and an interactive exhibit about the science of speed. One of the top things to see in Indianapolis, the museum is open all year round, barring Thanksgiving and Christmas. Third on our list is the Indianapolis Zoo, a home to over 350 species of animals from lions and tigers to gorillas and penguins. This zoo's international orangutan center, shark touch pool, aquarium, butterfly exhibit, and botanical garden make it a fantastic family destination. Next up, at number four, is the Indianapolis Museum of Art. With over 54,000 works of art from around the world, this museum features renowned artists such as Picasso, Van Gogh, Warhol, and O'Keeffe offering a captivating journey through different art forms and periods. At number five, we have Lucas Oil Stadium, the home ground for the Indianapolis Colts of the NFL. The multi-purpose stadium also hosts concerts, conventions, and various other events. Its standout feature is its retractable roof, and the stadium can seat over 70,000 spectators. There's also a fascinating Colts Hall of Fame for fans to explore. Central Canal at number six, is an artificial waterway that is turned into an urban oasis. It's home to diverse aquatic life and serves as a promenade for walkers, runners, bikers, and sightseers. Pedal boats are available for rent, providing a unique way to explore the city. The seventh spot goes to Holiday Park, a 94-acre park offering a nature center and enjoyable playground facilities. The park features delightful short trails leading to the river, making it a wonderful spot for outdoor relaxation. At number eight, we find the Benjamin Harrison Presidential Site, the former home of the 23rd U.S. President. This site, a national historic landmark since 1966, offers fascinating insights into Harrison's life and presidency. Number 9, Monument Circle, is a vibrant city center featuring the Indiana War Memorial and the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. This lively gathering spot is host to a variety of events and festivals year-round. The tenth spot goes to the Eitelyorg Museum, showcasing an impressive collection of Native American and Western art. Its library boasts over 10,000 books and documents related to Native American and Western culture. At number 11, we have the Indy 500 Museum, dedicated to the iconic Indianapolis 500 race. The museum features over 100 race cars and a plethora of artifacts related to this world-famous event. Next, at number 12, is Eagle Creek Park. As the city's largest park, Eagle Creek Park has a golf course, an outdoor amphitheater, hiking trails, a beach, and a marina. At 13, the Indiana State Museum, within White River State Park, hosts more than 500,000 objects related to Indianapolis history. It offers a glimpse of Indiana's past, present, and future through exhibits and a 3D theater. At number 14, the Indianapolis City Market features an array of vendors selling fresh local produce, artisanal cheeses, handmade crafts, and more. A unique feature is the catacombs located below, offering tours. Finally, at number 15, the Indiana War Memorial Plaza is a stunning neoclassical plaza honoring Indiana's veterans. It's a tranquil and solemn space to reflect on the sacrifices made by our veterans. So that sums up the top 15 things to do in Indianapolis. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.